It's day 284. The fearless commander of Islam. After the peace treaty of Hudaybiyah had been accepted, the Prophet had sent ambassadors with letters to many places in the world to invite the leaders of the world to enter Islam. Haris was one of those ambassadors. He had taken a letter from the Prophet to Shurabil, the governor of Busra. Shurabil, who was a Christian, was very upset by the letter from the Prophet and he mercilessly killed Haris. The Prophet became very sad when he heard this news. Never before had a country killed the ambassador of an enemy country. This was a great insult to the Muslims. It was an open challenge. The Prophet ordered an army to be prepared under the command of Zaid. The duty of Zaid was to go to Uta, where Harith was killed with his army and invite Sharabil and his people to join Islam. If they didn't agree, he was to make war against them for killing their ambassador. Before the Muslim army set out on this expedition, the Prophet addressed his companions in the army. Obey Allah's commandments. Do not transgress his limits and prohibitions. Don't kill any children and don't oppress the women or the elderly. Don't cut down trees and don't destroy houses. The companions listened to him very attentively as the Messenger of Allah continued his speech. If during the war, Zaid is martyred, Jaffa takes command. If Jaffa is also martyred, let Abdullah, the son of Rawaha, Rawaha command the army. If he is also martyred, then choose someone among yourself as a commander. When all the preparations were complete, the Prophet bid farewell to the army with prayers and good wishes. The desert echoed with the sound of the horses and the prayers on the tongue of the faith in the hearts of the Muslims. They marched on, and they marched onwards while Surabil got the news of a Muslim army setting out towards them. Immediately, he asked the king of Byzantine to send help. When the Muslims reached Muta, they met with a Byzantine army 100,000 strong. The Muslim army had only 3,000 soldiers, but these 3,000 soldiers courageously stood face to face with the army, supported by the strength they got from their faith. They were not afraid even for a moment of being martyred. The commander of the Muslim, Zaid, took a white banner in his hand. Not long after that, the battle started. The clash of swords mingled with the neighboring of with the neighing of the horses. While the Muslims were fighting at Muta, Allah the Most High was miraculously showing his Prophet the field of battle. Then the Prophet explained what had happened on the battlefield. Zaid had taken the banner into his hands and he was martyred. Ask Allah for forgiveness for him. When he fell, Jaqfa took the flag. He was also martyred. For him also, ask forgiveness from Allah. Tears were now running down the Prophet's cheeks. He continued, then Abdullah took the flag. He is one of Allah's greatest swordsmen. O oh my Lord, help him. After Abdullah, another such swordsman took up the flag. My Lord, help him, please. The person the Prophet was talking about was Khalid bin Walid. He was a heroic commander. He had just become a Muslim, but for the sake of his religion, he was ready to sacrifice himself. 
he was sincere enough even to lay down his own life.